Hi there and welcome to the next vlog. Um, this one is all about connectivity uh, and how I sort of fitted things together over, over the period that I've been putting all the Victron bits and pieces in. Um, it's all sort of moulded together using the Victron Serbo GX which is uh, a little unit which you can get and it acts as the heart of the Victron system so it sort of pulls all the readings in from all the different devices and allows you to access it all on your phone or a laptop or whatever over the internet so it's great from a boat point of view because you can monitor what's going on you can change things update things um, i can turn on the inverter remotely uh, so and turn lights on if i wanted to or, and, and that kind of thing um, and i've sort of been looking at the servo to see what else it can do and it's got quite a few extra features which you can add on to it um, particularly interested in the rate relay features which they've got it's got two relays on it that you can control remotely to switch bits and pieces on and off and I thought I'd do this to um, switch on and off the Webasto heating so I can turn the heating on the central heating on remotely so I can get hot water uh, and the heating when I'm not there so when we're traveling up uh, we're a couple of hours away from the boat uh, it can be warm when we get there or if we have a really cold spell then I can switch that on remotely uh, and that combined with the Blink uh, Amazon cameras that we've got that have temperature in them as well I can see if it's working uh, and I can see if the temperature gets too low so I need to switch bits and pieces on um, really wanted to do this because we over a period of time we've moved the boat further and further away from where we live because we want to explore different areas so we're not getting there as much so it's getting more important that i get control over it um so this is how i did it um there's not a lot of information available online about it so it took me quite a while so hopefully you find this interesting uh, yourself um it's all sort of tied in with the webasto um, type of heating i think it's got an older controller on it I think the later ones have a different way of communicating so you might need to just check that if you're looking to do something similar but this one is is plain and simple all right uh, hope you enjoy cheers bye bye there are lots of videos on the uh, Serbo GX on the internet especially on YouTube so uh, if you want to get into it uh, in depth then I suggest you look at those um, this is just a really quick oversight here as to what you can do so what you're seeing here is the equivalent of what you can have on the uh, LCD display which is uh, an extra you can purchase but all of this is available on laptops uh, and on your phone so you've got full control over wherever you are You've got pretty much full control over uh, all the devices on there as well as being able to look at the status of them uh, and to make small changes to them. It's also got um, great logging uh, facilities so you can see over a period of time what's been going on. Um, great for solar and for power usage and that sort of thing and helps you really plan. It can also alert you to um, changes and thresholds and that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's a massive topic, um, too, too great for here, but uh, this is just an overview. You can see all the different pieces on the left here. But the thing I was really interested in is over on the right, you see the icon for the switches. And this is where everything's hidden that I want to use. You've got control over the uh, inverter charger here, but also down the bottom, these two relays which you can just toggle on and off and they actually uh, physically make a change on the servo and this is where we can control things. You can see once you click on it there is a, a very slight delay it gives you the option to cancel and then it switches over. I think it must check whether the switch is actually moved over before it alerts you uh, but yeah so you've got the same control on your phone laptop whatever on here so this seems to be the ideal way of uh, controlling the heating anyway that's a really really quick overview um, so let's get stuck in so this is the standard um, controller for the older webastos it's very basic just pretty much on off there is a timer facility on it but it's really not very good at all and not used 
and you have to be on the boat to use it. So on taking that off you uh, can see a four pin plug which just plugs into the back of it. That comes from the engine bay. I ended up buying uh, just an extension lead for the heating system which is uh, which is this one. It's just got a socket on one end and a plug on the other but it means everything's automatically wired up correctly uh, and it gives you all the leads you need. I also got this which I used to uh, fault find just really to make sure I've got the right wires and it turns out you connect the red and the black wire in order to fire up the heating system. So uh, pop that on just to check and it worked. So that sort of gives me an idea what to do going forward. So connecting it all back up, uh, put one end of the extension lead into the timer and that then goes back and I can uh, I can cut into it in order to make the connections that I need for the relay and here you can see where I've just cut in and used a chocolate block so it's just a continuation there but it allows me to connect everything up without cutting any um, connectors off which I don't want to do just in case this all goes hideously wrong and we need to go back to square one so you can see how it's all connected So in order to start up, we just connect up red and black on there and it will fire up. This does allow the um, servo to work with it and also the timer to stay connected as well. I wanted it to have uh, the option of using both. So on the servo, we've got pull out um, connections which we can take off in order to connect up the cabling, which really works well. There you can see that's all in there waiting. And here you can see where the uh, the relays are. So we use the ground and normally open on relay one for that. So we just pop the wires in on there and then push it back into the servo and connect those two wires up. So now just want to actually test that it does what I think it's going to do before I connect it up to the system. So just use a multimeter, put it on the, uh, the black and the red. Incidentally you can hear the Webasto in the background still fired up from when I was testing it. So that's open, nothing there. So let's uh, so press the uh, relay one switch. Bear in mind you can be anywhere in the world here, you don't have to be on the boat. <laughs> Takes a little while, five second delay and then off it goes. Waiting. <laughs> there you go, so it gives you the feedback that that's there on. And there you go, you see it's short. So that's doing what it should do. So that will now stay on until you turn it off. So if I just switch that off, again, five second delay, and then that goes off. Right, so in theory, it should do what it's supposed to do when we uh, hook it all up. So looking how that's all connected now with the uh, Wabasto connected from the engine bay. Again it's all using plugs so there's nothing being cut so there's uh, it can all go back how it's supposed to be. Okay so uh, the big test. That's so switched on. I don't know if you can hear it, it uh, it's squealing away in the background. There you go, all sorted. Thanks for watching again, uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers, thank you, bye bye.